Today we're going to talk about not as bad as the fallacy of relative privation asserts that um, the group is not bad because one is not bad. Uh, you can see that in, in Walt. Uh, the group is not bad because one of them, my sister, my mother, I know a girl, I know this person. In the other half, it's I know this person that has it worse. So your uh, issues are trivial in comparison. Beyond right and wrong, there is a field. The field where uh, truthful ideas meet, good stable ideas stand on their own beyond religion, where the group says it's just because we're a group and one size fits all traditionalism, and beyond a place where there must be a loser, and in there the winner must be right. Sheer force determines right, but not the truth. When I think of feminism, sometimes I can only think of pure relative privation. Why are we wasting time on men? There's always uh, some women being raped. Or what about the children? There's climate change. There's war. There's workplace inequality. There's always a bigger issue than men's rights. There's always a bigger issue, issue in feminism. We can argue these points and they can seem uh, compelling because it feels like a simple application of priority. Priorities are important. And we do have to think carefully about how we expend our uh, intellectual resources. However, uh, context is important. There's always going to be a more important problem than men's rights because men are privileged. <laughs> men are evil. Men are the problem. That's sarcasm. Another problem with uh, this way of thinking is it misses collateral benefits. Uh, which are tied to the fact that uh, civilization is complex and sometimes things need to be solved just because it seems to be its time or it's the thing's time. Rather than returning to priorities, most of the time I find uh, fixing the simple stuff frees up time to work on the big things. There's examples in science. Uh, often basic science research is criticized because it does not have an obvious or an immediate practical application. However, we all uh, know science, knowledge works together, science and knowledge work together, and it is impossible to anticipate how lines of thinkings might cross fertilize, cross pollinate with another and lead to uh, unexpected applications. I wonder sometimes if we look at uh, fixing men's rights, whether feminism problems would just fall into place purely as an unexpected application of fixing men's problems. Paradigm shifts. Paradigm shifts uh, rely on the truth, indisputable truth. Uh, those truths only come from uh, many, many packages of small, trivial uh, things that incense the uh, intuitive feelings. Uh, paradigm shifts rely on truth, uh, undisputable truth, indisputable truth. Those truths only come from small trivial packages that incense the uh, intuitive feelings and delicate sensibilities of the traditional norms and traditional people. The traditional is what is unoriginal and embedded into society simply because it's always been that way. Another uh, traditional fallacy is it's always been that way. It's uh, the way it's always been done. There's no evidence or specific uh, belief or course of action that makes it better. It's just because it's believed, it's intuitive belief, uh, because it's a traditional belief. Of course, it's the action. Pulling them out and replacing them is like pulling a tooth. Uh, it will come at great resistance. Uh, small truths by nature always have uh, to compete with bigger issues. Gynocentrism is one of those things, the propensity to lean on the side of uh, the female and do what's right for her. Uh, it determines that every female issue is bigger. It's a bigger issue. Um, that is not the truth. It's just gynocentrism uh, to a beggar. 
the split V is always a bigger issue. MGTOW is a, a large packet filled with small truths. Everyone pales in a traditional scheme, uh, the scheme of mating, uh, the scams in mating. Uh, but that's what uh, I'm talking about. It's relative privation. That's always going to be uh, trivial compared to uh, the world's beliefs on feminism. There's always going to be a bigger issue than uh, what your needs are, men. Uh, it's easy for you to be a slave when... Uh, when there are bigger issues, that's what uh, can no longer be allowed. Uh, there's winds of change that are coming, MGTOW, in your, the spear's head. You're the tip of the spear. Peace, MGTOW. Peace. That's all men want. We can figure out these problems uh, in better ways by using logic rather than arguing, rather than uh, making... Uh, making the bigger things the issues uh, all these truths will come in small packages and that's what MGTOW has to do just do all those small packages and keep repeating them thanks a lot MGTOWs thanks a lot men for you know showing up thanks men